Good, I'm good. Ooh, well, wait, you'll tell me, but did you have fun last night? <laughs> um, I did, you know, uh, well, we'll talk. So I'll ask that question again. Sure. How was last night? Last night was fun. I mean, it's it's a rare opportunity, I think, where you're, you're going to get to see a, your, a TV show on a, on a big screen. Uh, so, you know, and I'm, we may never get to see the show in that uh, capacity again with an audience of that size, obviously, live. Um, it's never, I don't enjoy watching myself. Uh, n most actors don't. I mean, we tend, it's, it's a strange thing, right? It's like, uh, and, and then on top of it, watching other people watch you. <laughs> it's, just, it's kind of even more unsettling. Um, but it was very fun, it, and it was very nice uh, that people are seeming to respond to the, uh, something that we put so much of our heart and souls into. Did anyone say anything in particular to you after having seen it that particularly struck you? Um, no, I don't, you know, I, I, I'll, if I'm being very honest with you, I, I tend to, uh, you know, compliments or praise, I, it should always be handled with, uh, mm, in grain small, of yeah, as a grain of salt, because you, the same way as uh, negative criticism. I mean, if I, if I value the praise, I have to value the negative criticism, and it's an, unfortunately, I have to just take pride in the work that I do and leave it up to other people to have feelings about it and by all means uh, uh, I'll, I will let them do that. What about the festival itself? How has this experience so been? So fun. So fun for me. Well, first of all, Monte Carlo. I mean, what? this is this is incredible. This is an incredible place. Uh, people have all been very nice. Uh, there's a lot of actors here that I have not met before but are worked with friends of mine. Um, so that's very fun. So I've gotten to meet them. There's just a lot of fun stuff too where, you know, I'm on the airplane and I'm in line getting getting off, uh, headed to, to Nice uh, from London and I turn around and I was cracking a joke to, to a friend of mine and I said, that was the most actor ridden plane I've ever seen in my life. And this woman starts cracking up and she turns around and she goes, oh, are you going to Monte Carlo too? I was like, yes, I am. She goes, I'm Bo. And I was like, yes, you are. And because it was Bo Derek. And then she's like, and I'm John. It was John Corbett. I was like. Well, this is so strange. I was like, in my head, I, I'm, I'm fans of both of them, but I had to pretend like I had no idea who they were, because I, you know, I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable or like geek out. Uh, so there's a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, but it's nice. It's a very uh, cool environment to be. Everybody's obviously in wonderful spirits, and the weather is incredible. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. And I will say, it's been wonderful for us because a lot of our company of actors and our producers are here, and this is the first time that we've all been able to come together because we're here from, you know, there's actors on our show from Israel and Mexico and the United Kingdom and the United States. Uh, some live in France, and so it, it's nice to have us all together and have the opportunity to not be working, to be relaxed. We're not in the trenches right now. Have some drinks, meet our loved ones, that kind of thing. It's been lovely. Well, let's go back to the actual shoot. What for you? Sure was perhaps the most challenging moment of, of the shoot? Um, hmm. I think the most challenging thing for me in this process, the character is very traumatized. Um, and as the show goes on, he gets more and more traumatized. I mean, believe it or not, that first episode, he's already... He's a, a man who was a shell of himself, who had broken into a thousand pieces, had managed to put themselves together with the help of his new wife, played by Cara Theobald, Alice, and, uh, and then his old wife, played by Sana Kotick, returns, and everything just falls apart. And as the show goes on, he continues to get traumatized more and more. But the way that we shot it, it was like a film. So. In the first episode, you, you have a scene where I'm in the hospital and I'm seeing her wake up for the first time, and you have this moment where she looks at the ring. We have this. Whole, we shot that maybe in week three. Then there's a scene immediately after I'm in a bathroom and I'm breaking down. We shot that in week like eight, um, and the whole show is like that. So it was tracking. If you can imagine, there was a day where I would shoot from episode one, from episode six, from episode ten, all in all in one go, and that when you have a character who's been traumatized so many times throughout the course, the, he's a completely different emotional, sometimes physical state, either from exhaustion or he's been injured. Um, and so you have to be tracking all of that information as it goes along. So it was difficult, but it was also a really fun challenge because if you're someone like me, I, I enjoy puzzles. 
So it's, it's like a big, um, uh, kind of, I wouldn't even say jigsaw puzzle, but maybe closer to like a crossword puzzle. It was very, very fun to put together. And just to wrap up, you appeared mm -hmm. with Stana on a castle episode a while back. Is that how you knew each other? No, 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 no. Stana and I had never met before, and we didn't have any scenes in that episode. Um, but I will tell you, my favorite anecdote of doing uh, my one episode of Castle was, I was the bad guy in the episode of Castle. Uh, two weeks prior, I had shot an episode of Bones. I was also the bad guy on that. They happened to air the same night, but Castle was on at like eight, and Bones was on at nine. They were both procedurals, and you know, crime procedurals, and if you tuned into Castle at eight, you would watch me as like this lawyer being a bad guy and the killer, and then if you tuned in at nine, you would see this guy and you're like, I bet he's the killer, because I just saw him as the killer on something else. So it was, very, it was one, of, one of the strange things that happens in, uh, in an actor's life. Fantastic, thank you very yeah, much. Thank you, thank Great. you so much. Thanks. <laughs>